What is up, everybody? It's your boy Jay Figs back with another video, man. And today I got a crazy one for you guys. A little bit of a different video today, man. Obviously, I wanted to step away from like the usual reviews, take a quick break from that. And I just wanted to show you guys my entire WWE custom action figure elite collection. So obviously, this is just elites only. I do have some other customs, but they're obviously ultimate editions or you know, whatever else, AW figures. So I just decided to just straight up do my entire elite customs. So let's just stop talking and let's get into the video. Let's go. So basically what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to grab a figure from this little box right here, my little container of customs. And I'm going to give you guys like a little quick 30 second rundown of the figure so we can just, you know, move on. Don't want to take too much of you guys' time, but enough talking, guys. Let's get right into the video. Let's go. So I'm going to start off from the left side right here and I'm going to grab this here. Kurt Angle right here. This is actually one of my more recent customs. Uh, it came out pretty nice, actually. What I did was I swapped the original shoes that I had on here. Uh, it has a little bit of a gap, but I don't really mind it. Put some white uh, shoes. This came from the uh, TNF Jason Jordan figure. And then I threw on this just random Bobby Roode fodder torso that I had on here. And then some random just like small arms. And this is actually pretty good, like pretty accurate in terms of uh, Kurt Angle's body type. And uh, I think it looks great, man. You know, like when Kurt Angle drops a single and just goes absolutely perk angle mode. <laughs> Uh, I love this custom man, one of my favorites in the collection. Moving on though. Moving on here, I have this uh, CM Punk here. I think this is the Series 11 CM Punk, if I'm not wrong. I just head swapped it with some random basic figure. Uh, I know it's obviously not accurate because uh, Punk didn't have long hair with this uh, chest hat. But I think I'm going to acetone that off. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of still deciding whether or not what I want to do with this figure. But I absolutely love the look of the long hair on this gear for Punk. Uh, one of my favorite customs in the collection for sure. One of my favorite elites uh, in terms of Punk elites. You know what I'm saying? So there's a head sculpt. Absolutely beautiful. Got the tattoo designs. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to acetone the tattoo off yet. But that is it for the long hair CM Punk custom right here. Uh, Series 11, I believe it is, like I said. But uh, yeah, moving on, guys. Let's go. Moving on here, I have this custom Roman Reigns. As you guys can see, it's absolutely loose, unfortunately. I'll probably throw a rubber band on here, but this is actually one that I did like a couple days ago. And man, let me tell you, I absolutely love the look of this Roman right here. So I'm just going to break it down what I did. Uh, so these legs originally were on ball joints. They had the cargo pants, you know, like Roman usually comes with. And I threw on these uh, Commissioner Foley legs, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I think it was the Commissioner Foley legs. And I threw it on here because if you guys notice, Roman really doesn't use cargo pants anymore. He just used kind of like sweatpants uh, to wrestle in. So I just thought it looked like the most accurate. Uh, came out great. Threw on these uh, Montez Ford Elite Red Kicks right here. Because you know Roman wrestles in the red boots now. The red like freaking boxing shoes, wrestling shoes, whatever. I threw in a nice little red uh, elbow pad here. Has this nice little wrist band thing right here. Uh, I don't have the red glove on, but I think it looks way better. And this is actually a Farouk uh, torso piece. Uh, I think it's like the most accurate for Roman because Roman, they give him that super jack torso and I don't really like the way it looks. But man, uh, and obviously you guys can see that he doesn't have the tattoos. Oh, as you guys can see, I obviously acetone the decals off. Still need to do some more work on there. But uh, yeah, he doesn't have the tattoo decal on the chest or the shoulder yet, but I'm probably going to fix that sooner or later. But yeah, man, here is my custom updated Roman Reigns. Absolutely love this one. Uh, yeah, moving on, guys. Let's go. Moving on here, a bit of a lazy one. I know I said I wasn't going to put like usually like uh, my head swaps, but this is one that I think actually came out pretty cool. Here's my custom Vince McMahon in his suited outfit. Now the OG uh, Vince McMahon like mail away figure is like $100. I didn't want to pay that, but I needed a Vince McMahon figure. So I bought like some random basic. I think this is the basic uh, that came with the uh, CM Punk, if I'm, not, if I'm not wrong, in the battle pack. And I threw it onto this updated uh, recent Pauly Dangerously body. And I think it looks great, man. I think it looks just like Vince. Great body type, you know what I'm saying? Pretty good. Looks great, man. Threw a microphone on there because he's like one of my announcers in my fed. But yeah, pretty nice, man. Threw on these, uh, these like, I don't even know, these scratching hands, chop hands, Van Von Eric hands, like I called them, and a mic holding hand, obviously. But yeah, here is custom Vince McMahon, Elite, obviously. Uh, I think it came out great, man. Absolutely love this one. But yeah, let's move on, guys. Now moving on here, a bit of a controversial one and a work in progress for me. This is my custom elite Chris Benoit, man. Absolutely love the look of this figure, man. This is an Andrade, like bottom, like calf, basically. The boots and these legs and all this is just Andrade. This uh, torso piece is from an old John Cena elite. I'm not sure what series it came from, but I know it was a John Cena torso. These arms are the updated uh, Top Picks John Cena arms. 
threw them on there took off the took off the wristbands and threw on some black little wrist tape that usually come with like undertaker or like goldberg figures and i bought some random ass jacks chris ben wall figure because it had like the best head sculpt in terms of like ben wall like likeness sorry for the brain fart there lol anyways yeah here is my work in progress chris ben wall absolutely loving the look of this one obviously uh it's it's looking great man obviously has the double jointed arms updated got a beautiful torso on there i think it looks very accurate for chris ben wall uh, not super tall either because Chris Ben Wall wasn't that tall. But I'm honestly considering not putting decals on this. I don't know. I think it looks great just, just as is. But uh, I'm still deciding. Let me know in the comments if you guys think I should throw decals on this or not. But uh, yeah, guys, here is my custom elite Chris Ben Wall. Absolutely love this figure. Bit of a newer project. But uh, yeah, moving on, guys. Let's go. Moving on to the next figure. And I actually forgot to mention that these are all done by me. None of this is like uh, paid for work. This is all just done by me, you know, by... Just random fodder that I find in my bin. But anyways, guys, here is my custom El Generico. Another one that I'm working on. Uh, has the Vader head sculpt. I'm not sure what Elite Vader it was. But yeah, it's a Vader head sculpt. Threw on like some nice little fabric, like cloth, wire, string right here to the back of the mask. Obviously to make the El Generico mask. And uh, Vader actually is like a ginger. So, I mean, it matches perfectly. It looks just like Sami Zayn. Threw one red elbow pad and one black elbow pad. The base, I think, is a TNF Sami Zayn as well, I think. Uh, yeah, I think this is the TNF Sami Zayn from back in the day. It doesn't have double-jointed arms because I couldn't find any in the skin tone. I didn't have any. But, I mean, I think it looks great. I'm still going to paint on the rest of the mask, obviously. Yeah, I'll probably just acetone this SZ off because he wasn't Sami Zayn. He was El Generico. But the rest I'll probably keep on. It looks super nice. Uh, pretty accurate. Pretty good joint still as well. Absolutely love this custom. But uh, yeah, guys, like I said, still a work in progress. Uh, moving on, though. I'm going to grab one from the way back. This is actually one of my least favorite customs. This is actually one of my more recent ones as well. This is a custom LA Knight or an attempt at a custom LA Knight. Yeah! 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 Uh, absolutely awful, in my opinion. I think the, the head sculpt is absolutely horse meat. But I think the formula I came up with is actually pretty great for LA Knight. It's pretty accurate. Has these uh, Robert Roode arms. Uh, I think this is a Bret Hart, like WrestleMania 36 or something. I don't even know. It's one of the WrestleManias, uh, Bret Hart figures. This crotch piece is a Triple H. These upper thighs are a Triple H. I'm not sure what series again, guys. Here's some just random black knee pads. And the uh, lower legs are some Goldberg legs. The skin tone kind of doesn't match. But I mean, from far away, you can't really tell. It looks the same. The head sculpt is in Elias. I cut the hair, just shaved it down with a Dremel. I think it looks pretty decent. Like the likeness to LA Knight is there, obviously. But again, like I said, not one of my favorite customs, not some of my best work. But uh, I mean, it will do until we get in, obviously, an official elite LA Knight from Mattel. Uh, but yeah, guys, moving on. Nothing too crazy about this one. Let's go gonna reach all the way in the back for this one here is a custom sean michaels right here i believe this is the walgreens exclusive yeah one of my favorite figures in my collection man threw on this uh random head sculpt again from just some random basic sean michaels and i threw on this uh bret hart elbow pad and i think it looks great man it reminds me a lot of the ringside exclusive obviously i don't have that one that one's freaking hella expensive i'm not gonna buy it either but i think this will do for now i absolutely love this custom I absolutely love how it came out um this gear is so nice man black and green dx gear obviously iconic and this is one of my favorite sean head sculpts i don't know man it doesn't have like that much likeness to sean but i think it just looks great on this figure uh but yeah nothing too crazy again just basically another head swap uh yeah moving on guys let's go talk about head swaps man here is another head swap here is a top picks jeff hardy i believe i think this is the top picks yeah top picks jeff hardy and i swapped on some basic jeff hardy head sculpt and i think it looks great man because the original head sculpt i wasn't a big fan of i actually really disliked it It was super ugly the colorway was super trash and this kind of reminds me of that uh that one uh that one wwe shop exclusive uh jeff hardy if i can find a picture i'll throw it up like right here or something but uh, yeah this i think it came out pretty nice man i really like this i'm a big jeff hardy fan obviously as you guys know and uh yeah i think it came out great looks awesome moving on had to empty out the bin a little bit there guys sorry about that but let's get into this figure right here this is a custom finn balor this is just some random ass gear that i just came up with i think it looks great though man i think i got the idea from my damn toys a long time ago this is an older one but i think it came out great man here we have the uh these are like some Shawn michaels wrestlemania like lower legs i think uh the kick pads obviously some white uh knee pads from a basic alberto del rio from back in the day and these arms i have no idea where they came from and obviously the the rest of it is a top picks uh i think it's a top picks balor this head sculpt i think is from the elite uh 74 maybe i might be wrong i don't know i don't know my series guys don't don't grow me in the comments man but yeah i think this one came out really nice 
I like the silver and white look for Balor. The no tape on the wrist either looks great. And this head sculpt is easily one of the best Balor head sculpts we've ever gotten. But yeah, that's it for my custom Balor in like this uh, fantasy attire, I guess you can say. Absolutely love it, man. White kick pads, white knee pads just looks so great on this figure. Oh uh, yeah, moving on. Moving on to the next figure. Here we have this uh, OG, man. Real OG. It's not really like a crazy custom, but I basically just acetoned the hair off of this old Randy Orton Elite, and I basically made him into that demon time Randy Orton. You guys know what I'm talking about. Back when this guy gave no Fs, man. This guy was a straight up demon. Absolutely punk kicking everyone, you know, back in the day, man. When he was on like Legacy and all that, when he was WWE champ. Oh, you know what it is? It's 09 Orton, man. 09 Orton was a different breed, man. Different specimen, bro. But yeah, here's my custom Randy Orton. Absolutely love this one. The complete bald Orton just looks sick as hell. Looks hella badass. Looks like he's straight about to just punk kick me through the freaking screen. But yeah, guys, here's my custom Randy Orton. Absolutely love this figure. Has the black and yellow gear. It looks great, man. Uh, Moving on, though. Let's go. Next figure we have here. This is a custom, like, Chad Gable, Shorty G. Not really Shorty G. This is Chad Gable, obviously. I threw on this uh, DDP Legends uh, torso. I'm not really sure what series it was. It was in the Elite line, not the Legends line. Sorry about that, guys. These are the Chad Gable arms that he came with originally. And I found this freaking uh, Shorty G head sculpt at the flea market. And the lady that I bought it from... I didn't even buy it from her. She just gave it to me for free. So shout out to that lady. She helped me a lot with this custom. But yeah, I think this one came out great. Absolutely love Chad Gable, man. Obviously one of the most underrated talents in WWE. Uh, deserves more chances, man. He's so good technically, bro. One of my favorite wrestlers, 100%. But I really love this custom. I think it came out great. Obviously super accurate body type. If you guys haven't seen Chad Gable, man, the boy is absolutely ripped, boys. But yeah, I forgot to mention that the bottom half of this figure is basically just the TNF Chad Gable. Uh, absolutely love this figure, man. Beautiful custom. Next custom here we have... I'm just gonna grab this one here. This is like a work in progress again, like I keep saying, man. This is a work in progress custom CM Punk from, I think, the 2014 Rumble, if I'm not wrong. I got these lower legs from the basic CM Punk. Uh, He has basic knee rotation, unfortunately, not the elite uh rotation. But, I mean, I don't really mind. It, it's not a huge problem. Has those black and white kick pads. Has a black elbow pad there. Has this nice head skull from a basic that I have literally no idea where it came from. Uh, Basic CM Punk arms and just some random Daniel Bryan torso. And I think this was a top picks Balor as well, the bottom half. But uh, yeah, this is nothing too crazy. Just a 2014, I think, I think, uh, 2014 or 13 Rumble CM Punk custom work in progress again. Uh, it's coming out pretty decent, man. I like the formula. Uh, yeah, moving on. Nothing too crazy with this one. Let's go. All right, next up here is my NXT TakeOver Seth Rollins Elite figure. Uh, I changed the lower knees or the lower legs right here. Uh, obviously, you guys know these kick pad molds are absolutely horrendous. But I threw on some like lower knees right there, some black lower, lower knees. And I threw on some double jointed arms from the AJ Styles Legends Elite that came out not that long ago. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh no, also this head sculpt is different. This is a different head sculpt. This one came from the Elite, I think it's 45 Rollins, the one in his white attire. I took the original head sculpt from this and put it onto that Rollins. And uh, yeah, I think this one came out pretty nice with the double jointed arms. One of my favorite gears for Seth. Uh, I love like the tights for uh seth i mean the trunks for seth i think it look they look great but uh yeah nothing too crazy with this one just the arm and a head swap and a lower knee swap but uh yeah guys that's it for rollins next up here we have a roh style punk uh cm punk obviously has the shorts and the black kick pads like he did in roh i think this one actually came out way better than i thought it would man obviously missing some tattoos here and there i'll probably just add them later on if i ever get another elite punk i'll probably torso swap it again but uh, yeah here's my attempt at a roh style like indie style freaking cm punk figure here has some basic cm punk arms uh yeah i don't know what basic they came from these are just some john cena legs right here and i think these kick pads came with like some finn balor or something like that if i'm not wrong i can't remember and this head sculpt actually surprisingly came from some wwe flex force cm punk figure that my brother got me so shout out to my brother for that one, absolutely came in clutch. One of my favorite CM Punk head sculpts. Uh, it's not in the best shape, but I mean, it'll do for now. But yeah, guys, that's it for my ROH style Punk. Absolutely love this one. Doesn't get much use in my fed, but I mean, it's still a great figure. Still a great custom. Love it a lot. Moving on. Next up, here we have my custom Elite Braun Breaker here. This is a, this is a pretty lazy one again. I'm um, sorry, guys. But hey, here's a... I think this is an Elite 100. Yeah, Elite 100 stunning Steve Austin. Basically, the whole entire thing. And then I just plopped on the basic Braun Breaker head sculpt. And I think it looks pretty good, man. Pretty accurate. You know, he, you know when he drops a singlet, kind of like Kurt Angle, similar thing. And he just exposes the, uh, the torso there. He wears similar gear to this. He wears white boots, like, all the time. Black knee pads all the time. Uh, wrist tape. 
I mean, hand tape and wrist tape all the time. Uh, I think it looks good. Uh, it'll do for now until I get the new Braun Breaker. Obviously, when I get it, I'm going to be doing a review on the channel. Moving on, guys. Here we have a custom shield Dean Ambrose. This one is a bit of a crazy one, man. This is a... These legs are from an Elite Roman. I have no idea what Elite it was. I think it was probably like some top picks, random one. The torso underneath is a uh, WrestleMania Shawn Michaels. As you guys can see there, it's absolutely cracked right there, unfortunately. But I mean, the vest and the shirt hide it. Uh, the arms are from the Commissioner Foley figure there, as you guys can see. Double jointed, so it's updated. Absolutely beautiful. This is some random black shirt that I just threw on underneath. And then this shield vest originally came with a... Uh, yeah, some OG Dean basic figure from back in the day. And then I threw on a little black glove for him. The shield are a faction in my fed. So this is why I made this figure. Absolutely love this figure, man. I think it came out great. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for Dean Ambrose. Moving on. Next up, I'm just going to freaking knock these three out because they're all pretty much all, they're all pretty much similar. Here we have a uh, Elite J Uso right here with the head swap from the Battle Pack. Uh, I'm not sure what series this is, but yeah, all three of these Uso figures are just head swaps. I know it's pretty lazy. I'm sorry about that, guys. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you because I think it came out pretty cool. But here is a custom J Uso with the, yeah, like I said, the Battle Pack head sculpt with the red hair. I think it looks great. Complements the red gear very well. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite customs absolutely love jay uso so yeah that's why i had to make it next up here's another jay uso i'm pretty sure yeah jay uso right here and this head sculpt actually came from the SummerSlam elite figure so it has a little tiny like little bun right there kind of thing uh red hair again has the red kicks the white pants love this figure a lot man uh the usos man i absolutely love the usos jimmy's i mean jay in particular because he's a goat and then here's jimmy with an updated head sculpt uh, here's the one from the battle pack again. Absolutely love those head sculpts that came on the battle pack. I think I got two of those actually because they were just so damn good. But yeah, similar to Jay with the white gear and the red kicks. Uh, nothing too crazy with this one, just head swaps like I said. But I think they look absolutely great. Here's the pair. I mean, here's the freaking, yeah, the trio, whatever. Uh, as you guys can see, the head sculpts are clearly different on the two Jays there. Uh, they look great though, man. Absolutely love these customs. I think they came out pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this. Let's move on to the last one, guys. Let's go. And for the last custom in the bin, guys, here is my custom, like, promo gear, like, serious mode Shawn Michaels, man. I absolutely love how this one came out, too, as well. Uh, the skin tones obviously don't match with there. This torso and the legs all came from the John Nada, Roddy Piper, like, Hollywood, like, the movie, the movie series line that Mattel did for the wrestlers. Uh, hated that line. Absolutely terrible. I don't think they should ever bring it back. But the fact that they gave us this body type is absolutely perfect because I think it looks great on this Shawn Michaels. This Shawn Michaels head sculpt came from some basic one. Uh, I just don't know the series. And these arms obviously came from a basic Shawn Michaels as well. Uh, I think it came out great, man. Usually he has this uh, flannel on that came with the John Otta as well. But I think it looks pretty great, man. Uh, again, you know, you always need promo gear for your figures in your fed. You know, when they got to cut promos, when they got to just be out in the cars, whatever. You know what I'm saying, guys. You already know, man. But yeah, let's wrap up the video. Let's go, boys. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this one probably won't be uploaded on Monday, unfortunately. It'll probably be uploaded like early, early, early Tuesday uh, morning. Unfortunately, I wanted to just try to get three uploads a week. But, I mean, this will do. I'll probably have another video on Wednesday and Friday as well. Going to try to upload some shorts of the customs, maybe. I'm not sure. I have another video coming up this Friday, I think. It's going to be the crazy toy hunt that I found at Target. Absolutely crazy figs that I found. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I already said, make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Turn on the post notification bell so you guys never miss a freaking upload. As you guys can see, there's some crazy figures to be seen on this channel. So just stay tuned, man. Got some crazy things coming. And I think we just hit 220 subscribers, which is absolutely unreal, man. I say it every video. You guys are just killing the videos, man. So shout out to everyone who watches. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Shout out to everyone, man. Peace out. Let's go.